Bulls Nation. As we continue the discussions of players entering the Chicago Bulls, as we've done for the entirety of free agency, this one, ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion, is probably a hidden gem that many people might not consider joining the Chicago Bulls. However, he's not a hidden gem on this YouTube channel because so many people in my comment section have been talking about this player and it's about time that I talk about him too. His name is Jared Vanderbilt. He's played for the Minnesota Timberwolves and I believe he's also played for the Devon Nuggets before and he's someone that is very interesting to talk about when it comes to the Chicago Bulls. Without further ado, let's discuss him in this video. Let's do it. What's going on everybody? It's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video. Today we've got a Chicago Bulls related video referring to Jared Vanderbilt. Played for the Minnesota Timberwolves this year. At the end of the day, is still a very young upcoming talent and someone that many people would consider bringing in to the Chicago Bulls team at this point in time. He has a lot of positives to his games and he does have some negatives that we will be discussing in this video and I'll give my final results or my final predictions of what I would like to see with Jared Vanderbilt. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about Jared Vanderbilt and what he could potentially be on the Chicago Bulls as well as what he could be throughout the entirety of his career because he's a very interesting player to say the least. When you look at his stats, it's not the greatest stats you'll ever see out there in the world. He played 64 games, most of them off the bench for the Minnesota Timberwolves. He averaged 5.4 points per game, 5.8 rebounds per game, 1.2 assists per game, shooting 60% from the field, 20% from the three-point line. And at the end of the day, once, I, as I said before, played a lot of his minutes off of the bench, and he is a power forward in this league. So again, it's in a position the Chicago Bulls are probably looking at to strengthen, and that is definitely something we can see as we are linked with a, lot, with a lot of power forwards, Paul Millsap being the main one at the moment. But Jared Vanderbilt is a very interesting player. I believe he's a restricted free agent. I believe in order to acquire him, we would have to do a sign and trade, or maybe we can just sign him up straight away. But at the end of the day, with the Chicago Bulls, this is definitely a player that is not a guarantee to join here. At the end of the day, maybe Minnesota Timberwolves are seeking a chance to bring him in long-term once again, because he is a very young, upcoming player. And the Minnesota Timberwolves fans love this guy because of what he brings on the floor. What type of player is he? The two things that strike me when I'm talking about Jared Vanderbilt, hardworking and intense. This guy is an intense player for what you want in that power forward position. This guy will jump for every single offensive rebound you could possibly want him to do. This guy is going to outwork every single player on your team because that's what he does. That's what he's been doing his whole career. Being that player that just in the end has to get the offensive rebounds to make himself, I guess, wor worthwhile for that team. He's going after offensive rebounds. He has the will to go and grab an offensive rebound to know where the ball is going at certain times and to just make the ball his own. He wants that ball more than anybody in the world when he steps on the court. And that's something that I admire about a player like him. At the end of the day, he's not a flashy player. He's not a player that's going to stun you and amaze you with his offensive capabilities. He is very athletic. He can finish around the paint. But this guy offensively, Offensively, the biggest negative, he doesn't have a jump shot. This guy can't shoot. Again, that 60% from the field may fool you because a lot of it's in the paint. But this guy, as a jump shot player, you're not going to get that from him. He's not going to be that guy for us that's going to be an incredible shot taker for the Chicago Bulls. But he's definitely going to be the guy that fits the system of our bench. As I said before, he is a fantastic offensive rebounder. He's a fantastic rebounder in general. He wants that ball more than anybody. And he's going to be a player that can finish in the paint and can finish with athletic athleticism. Many people see him as a power forward, and I definitely see him as a power forward for the Chicago Bulls as well, but it would not be surprising if we could see this guy as a center. I believe the Minnesota Timberwolves at times did play him as a backup center because at the end of the day, he's not someone that can shoot the ball. He's not going to be a floor spacer. He's not going to be anything like that. So you put him in the center position, he doesn't need to be that. He could be a player that goes for screens, goes for lobs, finishes in the paint, and hopefully that game develops where he can make a jump shot, a wide open jump shot. And he's going to have the opportunities to do that because teams will leave him open. And if he can make the shots, then he's something, it's something to his game that can be fantastic for the Chicago Bulls. Would I take him with the Chicago Bulls? If you're getting Jared Vanderbilt, you're getting someone that has potential. 
You're getting someone that's going to work very, very hard. You're getting someone that's going to earn his minutes off of the bench. You're also going to get someone where if he improves his jump shot, he's going to be one of the most hidden gem players in the NBA. I feel like the Minnesota Timberwolves would be foolish to let this guy go. But at the end of the day, the Minnesota Timberwolves is not our priority at the end of the day. If they go, if they let go of Jared Vanderbilt, that's their own issues. They've done this, things like this numerous times in their past. So I'm not surprised about that situation if they decide to let him go. However... If the Chicago Bulls can pick him up, it's going to be a relatively cheap deal because, again, offense is non-existent pretty much when it comes to Jared Vanderbilt. We are getting a solely defensive and rebounding player that can make dunks and alley-oops. That's his offensive game. But from that perspective, without a jump shot, I see this guy being a center on the Chicago Bulls just as much as a power forward. I just feel like if he is playing in a, in a position where he can be a center, it's going to be a small ball lineup, and it's going to be a lineup that loves to run. Like I said before, we're going to be a team that likes to run, especially off of the bench. I don't see why this guy can't play for the Chicago Bulls as a center. But regardless, would I take him on this team? At this point in time, I definitely will take him on this team. He's not my first choice, neither is Demarcus Cousins. My first and primary choice that I would love on this team is Paul Millsap because he could do a little bit of everything on the floor for the Chicago Bulls, whether it's a starter or off of the bench. The guy is just simply good at everything on the floor. There's not a weakness to Paul Millsap on this team, in my opinion. I think he fits this team perfectly. But of course, Paul Millsap isn't a guarantee. Far from it, at the end of the day. There are many teams that are interested and many teams that will be willing to move things around to get Paul Millsap onto their team. That's why teams like Golden State, Clippers, Nets, and the Chicago Bulls are interested. Some teams might find it difficult to get him. Other teams might have to make some moves to get him. But the fact of the matter is, if there's an opportunity to get Paul Millsap on your team, if you're a contending team, to say the least, there has to be a chance to do that. So the Chicago Bulls, are, I think are trying to go for Paul Millsap, and I think that's the right move. But of course, if we don't get Paul Millsap, Jared Vanderbilt, in my opinion, is a hidden gem player on the Chicago Bulls. I wouldn't be surprised, or I wouldn't be shocked if we go after him and Paul Millsap. Because again, I truly feel like Jared Vanderbilt, with his athleticism, his ability to run out and transition, his playmaking, he's not, I wouldn't say playmaking, he's dribbling is very good for someone his size. And that's something that we can definitely see in the future as well. This guy could be an incredible transition player for the Chicago Bulls, as will Derek Jones will hopefully be for the Chicago Bulls, as Io could potentially be for the Chicago Bulls. Kobe White could be a good transition guy for the Chicago Bulls. These are all players that are willing to run and willing to get the ball in transition. And he's going to be another player that can do that. So if we get Paul Millsap, I would, I would definitely say... This doesn't end the hope of Jared Vanderbilt for many people that like watching him and believe he should be on the Chicago Bulls team. I definitely think, as I said before, this guy could play as a backup center for us. I know he's only six foot nine, but he's athletic, and there are many, many, many centers that are considered small ball in the NBA today. So I would not put it past anything to draft this or to pick this guy out of restricted free agency on a multi-year deal and play him in a backup center position and let him earn his minutes. Let him earn his way into this team and let his defense speak for itself. Because at the end of the day, defense is something that the Chicago Bulls should always pride themselves on. Ever since the 90s and when Derrick Rose and that team, from then on, we, we need to be a good defensive team. We always have that mentality of a of a people mentality. We love the hustle players. We love the players that will give their heart and soul for a rebound or to go and dive into the stands. These type of players are players we need to bring back to the Chicago Bulls. I think he fits that in a nutshell, to be honest. I think he's going to be the perfect player for us. I feel like if he does come, he's a, he's a fan favorite. My guess is there's, it's a wide open field at the moment. I don't see the Timberwolves being a team that would necessarily be willing to Give, give him away, but also they're probably a team that probably want him back as well. He's the type of player where if someone overpays or someone pays beyond what the Timberwolves are willing to, they would let them go because at the end of the day, he's not a top priority for them. But for the team like the Chicago Bulls, that may be one piece away from potentially being a good team to a championship competing team. I'm not saying Jared Vanderbilt is that guy that can make us that, but if we are one move away from being what we want to be in this league, you bring a player like Jared Vanderbilt in if he's the player and we go and get that done because there's an opportunity there. So yes, I would take him in a nutshell. That's basically how I, I see it. I see him as a, as a player that we are working for potential. I see him as a player that's going to be very hard working and outwork every single player on the court. And I also feel like if we could get his 
offensive game going a little bit, then he's going to be a great pickup for the Chicago Bulls. But at this point in time, Paul Millsap is still my top priority. But I'd love to see maybe both of these guys play for the Chicago Bulls. I don't know if that's possible or not, but that's something I would love to consider if that was to be the case. Um, but yeah, I see that unlikely as well. But we'll see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Very interesting player. He's a player that's definitely intrigued me. And again, if you don't watch Tim Bulls games, many people might not know who this player is or don't know much about him. I recommend go watching highlights. Um, and I think you'll see it for yourself, pretty much. I mean, I have watched some Timberwolves games, of course. They're a very fun offensive team to watch. I, I think overall, they're not a great team, but they do have some good offensive talents there. D'Angelo Russell, Carl Anthony Towns, uh, even I'm a big fan of Ricky Rubio. So sometimes I do watch their games and I watch how they play. And Jared Vanderbilt is someone I did watch before. So if you don't know much about him, go watch these highlights, go watch his defense. Specifically watch his defense because that's the majority of his highlights and you'll see what I see You'll see what most other people see you'll see a hard-working player that has a, a way of getting offensive rebounds And he's gonna be a player that is going to be solid defensively as well You won't be disappointed defensively or rebounding wise with this player But offensively he needs to get that work done and hopefully he can do have a wonderful and safe day Bulls Nation I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video stay safe stay healthy and stay tuned for more take care and peace.